Hey everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I am so excited that you're here today. Well, first of all, I want to apologize for not having a video out for you last Thursday. I was a busy, busy girl. I was taking down all of my Halloween decorations. And if you have watched any of my Halloween series, you know that I have a lot of Halloween decorations. So I started about 8.30 that morning and I did not finish until about 6.30 that afternoon. And I was a tired girl, so I did not get to film a video for you and I'm so sorry. But today we're going to do a easy, simple little video. I'm going to show you some clips that I have taken over the last few weeks weeks of some thrifting and some antiquing and even a yard sale thrown in there. So uh, it's a compilation of a few different weeks. I mean, even up to this last weekend um, that today is Sunday. So this weekend, um, but it's just a compilation of a few different trips that I've taken. And I just wanted to share with you what I saw. And I actually bought a couple things that I wanted to share with you as well. Now, quick disclaimer, little Lily, if you are watching this, stop now, click off and go to another video because there's actually something in this video that I got for you for Christmas and I don't want you to see it. So don't watch it. Just go watch something else. So let's start with the thrifting part of the video. I'll show you the antiquing part later. Um, like I said, this is a compilation of a few weeks. Some of this I did by myself. Some of this summer was with me and we just went off on a little journey of our own by ourselves. It's the weekend that we went to Conway. So we just had a good time to hanging out together, just doing what we wanted to do and stopping where we wanted to stop. And I did get a couple things I want to share it with you, but first let me show you what we saw.
All right, so I did purchase two things on this trip. The first thing you may have known immediately when you saw it and who it was for, and you probably would be right. I did purchase those canisters for Lily for a Christmas gift. This is the largest of the canisters. They were marked $45. Now, I saw these a couple of weeks ago and I did not buy them because they were marked $45. But the Habitat for Humanity, they send me coupons via text and they sent me a 50% off coupon and I put it to use and I, I don't know what that is on my shoulder. It is not coming off. I don't know what it is. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> um, 50% off coupon. I used it and I got these for once I rounded up for $25 with tax and everything. So this is the largest size. This is the next size and then they go down from there and the bottom part is metal and the top part is plastic well this might this is plastic yeah all of this is plastic and this is like a tin so they're very clean and they have no scratches they look like they are in excellent condition and i think she's going to love them let's open one of them up and look on the inside yeah, they're, she probably won't use them for actual food, but they look to be in really good condition. They're just going to be for decorations. And then the other thing that I got for myself was this cute little owl. Let me grab it. I just noticed that he has a little chip on him, but I don't really care. There's the little chip right there. I paid $2.99 for him, but he was the only thing in the store that I could find. My, um, what do you call it? My Goodwills are getting so hard to find things. I have not found anything in the Goodwill in so long. I always try to look and stop in, and it's always a chance of if I find anything. But this was all that I was able to find, and I think they're really cute. I think these colors will go well with my house because they're kind of a yellow tone. So I already have a place picked out for him, but I have not got him put up yet because that's going to be another video. Um, now, the next thing I want to share with you is I did a tiny, tiny little bit of antiquing, nothing big. It wasn't even what you would call an antiquing trip. We just came across this store and it was a little vintage st store. I had never been in there before and we stopped in and I want to show you this, what we saw and then I'll show you what I bought. I also want to mention real quick that this was taking a completely different weekend. Summer's not with me at this point. It's Lily and two of my sisters. Um, my one sister, we call her Big Lily because she was, Little Lily was kind of named after her. Um, and then my sister Debbie. <clears throat> so, Big Lily is very much a camera hog. And she was trying to get me to take her picture in front of this window. And I kept telling her, I am not taking a picture. I'm videoing and you're in my shot. <laughs> so I kept it in there so you can kind of see her personality, but she is not camera shy at all. And she wanted to make her little debut. So, so that's what you're going to see when you first, when the video first starts to play.
So I want to be transparent with you guys because after I said it, I realized it may sound as if this vintage store was in Myrtle Beach, Conway area. It is not. It's in another area that we were visiting, passing through, and it's not in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> so I don't want you to think that this was there and, and you go looking for them. I did put the name of the store in the video if you want to look it up but i don't remember what it is right now but it is written on the window if you're interested um this is what i bought from them let me move the camera back just a little bit i want you to be able to see it in all its glory you may already know you may have seen the video and said that's what she got but look at this beautiful tablecloth i absolutely fell in love with this look how beautiful it is the colors it, it was just absolutely glorious and we were walking by the window of this store and they were closed and we were peeking in the window we, I mean I had my nose pressed up to this window I wanted to go in so bad and they were closed and the people who work there were inside and they actually called us in and let us go shop and let us shop around with the you know the lights were kind of on kind of not on so if you'll notice the video being kind of dark that's because the store was closed but they let us in anyway so i was definitely gonna buy something but it did not take much convincing for me to pick this up it was 22 dollars, so i had to have it i don't know where i'm gonna put it other than my square dining room table i already have a tablecloth for that but i could switch it out this is a round or oblong shaped tablecloth so I don't know. I just could not walk out of that store without it. It was a necessary need for me once I saw it. And then I got a little Christmas goodie. Let me get it out for you. This was $15 and I may have overpaid. I don't know, but I loved it. And this one, where's he at? One of them, no. I thought one of them had some missing antlers, but I guess they don't because I don't see them missing now. But it looks to be in pretty good condition other than a little paint loss and i just thought this would be cute on my little vintage display that i have so that's what i bought at the little vintage store well that's all i have for you for today i just wanted to share those little shopping trips with you with my little haul because i thought you might enjoy it next week and it's actually going to be this coming thursday on um, when i'm going to be working on it but next week we're going to have we're going to get to go through all of this maybe my owls i don't know but we're going to have to put something out in the living room and the kitchen and the dining room because I don't want to redecorate with all of my stuff and I don't want to pull my fall back out and I'm not quite ready to decorate for Christmas. So I need to come up with something fun to get us by temporarily until it's time to decorate for Christmas. So we're just going to have some fun, decorate as fun as we can, as extravagant as we can we don't have any rules it's just going to be a fun little decorate with me that we're going to do next week and i'm really looking forward to that i just i really wanted to have it done by now but i'm telling you my body just doesn't hold out like it used to <laughs> by the time i took down all of those decorations it told me that it was time to stop so that's that's what i had to do so we're going to pick up where we left off next week and we're going to decorate the living room until next time i love you all and i'll see you later bye